On December 1, 2016, Blessed Stanley Rother became the first U.S.-born person to be declared a martyr for the faith. And on September 23, 2017, the first U.S.-born priest to be beatified. Four years later, the construction of a shrine in his honor continues in Oklahoma City. The placing of this 45,000-pound steel dome was a major milestone in the construction project. We conceived this project even before Blessed Stanley was former, formally beatified, recognizing a need in this part of the city for a, a large church to so, serve a, a growing population of Spanish-speaking Catholics. Uh, and then the church gave us the gift of the beatification. Blessed Stanley Rother's story begins in 1935. He is born to a German Catholic family in rural Oklahoma. In 1963, he is ordained a priest. Five years later, he is granted permission to join the Oklahoma Diocese's mission in the town of Santiago Atitlan in Guatemala. For the next several years, Father Stanley lives in poverty. Alongside the native tribe, he serves, as a civil war rages in Guatemala. The conflict makes the Catholic Church a primary target of persecution, and thousands of Catholics are killed. When Father Stanley's name appears on a hit list, he returns to Oklahoma. But despite the risks, he asks to be sent back to Guatemala to continue ministering to the people of Santiago Atitlan. On July 28, 1981, just a few months after Father Stanley returns to Guatemala, three men enter his rectory in the middle of the night and gun him down. His death leaves his community reeling, but with a desire to keep his legacy alive. That's precisely what the Archdiocese of Oklahoma City hopes to do with the Blessed Stanley Rother Shrine, which is expected to be completed in summer 2022. The shrine will include a 2,000-seat church, an event space, an education building, and a chapel where Blessed Stanley will be entombed. This is indeed a shrine for all the people. Uh, it will be a shrine uh, not just to serve uh, local Catholics, uh, not just to serve local Hispanic Catholics, but to serve everybody who will be attracted by the life and witness of Blessed Stanley. A witness of courage and total commitment to the mission of service entrusted to him by the Church.